Hello and welcome to a short video on what Nextel Direct Talk feature is and a little demonstration of how it works. This is not a tutorial of how to program these Nextel units to use the Direct Talk feature, nor how to set it up in the Direct Talk feature. There are other articles online and there's other YouTube videos that will show you how to do that. This is just a little bit of information as to what it is and then a little demonstration of how it works. So what is the Direct Talk feature? The Direct Talk feature is a walkie-talkie like feature that is built right within to the Nextel software on older Nextel units. Now the ones that I have here in front of you in this video are older units that go back quite a few years. Obviously Nextel is not in, in existence any longer since Sprint bought them out and so the Nextel system is not online any longer. Therefore you can't buy brand new phones or units from Nextel. So your best bet is something like an eBay or a Craigslist if you can pick them up that way and then be able to enable the Direct Talk feature. The Direct Talk feature is built within many of the models of Nextel. However, you have to do a little bit of research to be able to see which ones have that Direct Talk feature built within them. I have four of the Nextels right here that do have the Direct Talk feature. I have an i355, I have an i570, an i576, and an i580. All of these have the Direct Talk feature. There are many others that do as well, but for demonstration, this is what we have here. Now, many may remember using these phones in years past, and many remember the Direct Connect feature. Direct Talk is different than Direct Connect. Direct Connect allowed you to be able to use these phones in a similar way to the Direct Talk, like a walkie-talkie, but you could talk to somebody else clear across the country in a walkie-talkie type fashion. That used Nextel's system, its cellular system. However, that is not in operation anymore, so the Direct Connect feature is no longer used. However, the Direct Talk feature is still available. It is a built-in radio system right within these phones that allows them to talk within a local area, like walkie-talkies, to each other. This system works independent of any cell service. It works independent of any Wi-Fi service. It does not need any other service other than what is built right into the software and into the hardware of the units themselves. The Direct Talk feature uses the 900 megahertz frequency spectrum. It also frequency hops when it's being used. This makes it highly secure in the sense that it's very, very difficult, extremely difficult to be picked up on any kind of scanner. And also the likelihood of anybody else would be able to pick up that frequency is highly unlikely unless they had a Nextel and it was programmed to your same channel and code. So it's very secure that way. How does it differ from FRS or GMRS radio services which are picked up at your local stores or online and are in use are by many people? Well, one of the downsides of FRS and GMRS, of FRS primarily, is that so many people are using them. Maybe you go to a theme park or you go somewhere else to a ski mountain or something like that, a cruise ship, and there are so many people on those channels that it just bogs the channels down. There's crosstalk, there's frequency interference, so it becomes very difficult and challenging to use. The GMRS, General Mobile Radio Service, is another option which is highly available. The GMRS, GMRS uses a, a higher wattage frequency and uses different frequency sets. However, the FCC at this time does require a license to use the GMRS frequencies. Many people may choose not to acquire that license and they do that under their own risk, but the FCC does require a license. FRS does not require a license, but it's extremely busy. The direct talk feature of these radios does not require a license. So therefore it can be used by any individual and they can be used in a wide array of applications. Many may use them on a ski mountain. Many may use them at work, on a job site. Many may use them on a cruise, at theme parks, or in their bug out bags, or for disaster preparedness. There's all the different applications that these could be used for local communication to be able to talk to one another. So what is local communication? Many people ask about the range. How far can these reach? Are there different models that reach different and different ranges? In my experience, and I've used quite a few different models, the range is the same across all model sets. Some have taken the i355, and I have one here, and put a rubber ducky antenna on it instead of the uh, retractable antenna that's built in. It may get a little more range, uh, just a little, but not much. The range will vary depending on your circumstance and your terrain. 
It could be anywhere from a few blocks in an urban setting to half a mile to a couple of miles in an open setting. It depends on where you're using them and how you're using them. But the 900 megahertz works great inside buildings and in urban settings because the actual frequency wavelength is shorter than perhaps an FRS or GMRS frequency. So the range is pretty good for what they're good for, which is good. Now as far as how they work, as you can see, as I mentioned, the different models they have, they're all Motorola's, they're all um, Nextel branded. As long as they're Nextel branded and they have the Nextel software, they can communicate all across each other no matter what model it is. Like I mentioned, look online, find the models, make sure the direct talk feature is in there. As far as how I've set these up, I have it as COM1, COM2, COM3, COM4. They could be programmed any way you wish. You could have names in them. It could say Tom, Dick, Harry, Sue, if you choose to do so. But for this demonstration, I have it as COM1, COM2, COM3, COM4. If I take COM3 and I have other individuals with these radios and I want to communicate with them, I can take COM3 and I can just, uh, before I get to that, let me show you inside. I don't think it shows up on the camera, but I have it programmed to channel one, code one. So that means that any Nextel unit with a direct talk feature that's programmed to channel one, code one, will be able to connect to this unit and all across the other units themselves. So if I have this program, channel 1, code 1, and the rest are as well, I can push this side button, the push to talk button, and they will all pick up. So now they're all ready to receive, and I can talk, and everybody will hear. If somebody who has COM2 responds, everybody will hear that conversation as well, just like a normal walkie-talkie system, which is very handy in many applications. However, the beauty of Direct Talk and the Nextel system is I can use the same type of system. I can have it set to channel one, code one, but I've programmed contacts. So I can go to my contacts, I can scroll down, and if I want to call only the person who has COM1, I go to COM1, because I've programmed it that way, I've programmed the number. Only COM1 is showing up. The other two are not, because I'm having a direct conversation with this individual only. When they respond, they will have a direct connection to me, and it will connect only to me, no matter how many u radios are in use. That is the beauty of direct talk using a contact list. I could do the same with COM4 if I want to call COM2. Open it up, scroll down to what I've programmed in as COM2, push the push to talk button, and only COM2 is coming up. And the other beautiful thing is that when it's programmed as a contact list, it'll actually tell me in the display who's calling. So I could have a hundred of these units assigned out to a crew or something else or to friends and if I've programmed their names and the number in, it'll tell me exactly who is calling me and I can respond as such. So as I mentioned, they're all Nextels. They're all with the Direct Talk feature enabled. They all have um, uh, retractable antennas and they all work quite well depending on the setting that you wish to use. So thank you very much for checking out this video. Hopefully that answers a couple of the questions as to what Direct Talk is and how it works. And I hope you have a great day.